Hey, um, for those that are watching, um, KCL has been working with Energy Star for the last two to three years, and we'll do a, a quick highlight of that towards the end. But today we want to learn a little bit more, a little bit more about Energy Star. So, Lene, would you tell us a little more about the Energy Star program and how it works with the commercial food service industry? Yes, of course. Um, so Energy Star is a voluntary partnership among government, businesses, and consumers. And the program is jointly implemented through the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Energy, but resides physically at the EPA office in D.C. The Energy Star label itself is a government-backed symbol for energy efficiency providing simple and credible and unbiased information that consumers and businesses can rely on to make well-informed decisions. The goal of the program is to help consumers, businesses, and industry save money and protect the environment through the adoption of energy efficient products and practices. The program saves end users money, water, and energy without sacrificing features or functionality and helps protect the climate. To ensure co consumer confidence in the Energy Star label and to protect the investment of Energy Star partners, the EPA requires all Energy Star products to be third party certified. Products are tested in an EPA recognized laboratory and reviewed by an EPA recognized certification body before they can carry the label. So this process really he helps hold the integrity of the brand and is why customers can trust the brand um, and consider it unbiased information. Well, that, that is a lot. And I'm, I'm hoping that the people out there that are watching this now or later understand the value of that. Um, do you, I don't know if on the website, do you ever have any kind of reporting of, of what Energy Star products, how they can save, you know, designers, restaurants, well, the obvious energy, whether it's less electrical or less water, are those reports, any of that information available? So yeah, so getting more into the commercial food service segment of Energy Star, we have the nine commercial food service product categories, which include refrigerators and freezers, ice makers, dishwashers, ovens, griddles, fryers, steam cookers, hot food holding cabinets, and our newest category, which is coffee brewers. Um, if you go to the Energy Star landing page, which it's pretty easy, it's just energystar.gov slash CFS, um, you'll find a lot of useful information on each of these product categories, including savings information, like Kevin was just asking about. Um, one of our resources that we promote and is very popular is we have product sell sheets for each of these categories, which does have savings statistics, um, including energy and water if it's applicable to the product and um, estimated utility bill savings. Um, so that the sell sheets are a little bit more general information. Um, we also have the commercial food service equipment calculator, which is currently um, undergoing some updates, but that will give you some more specific information based off of your, where you're located, your climate zone and the product information that you're interested in. Um, that'll give you more specific um, return on investment information um, for those interested in it. Oh, that's, that's great. That's something that I think we'll need to follow up with you. I know we've had yes. on and off and that again, we're gonna show a little about KCL and how we link to Energy Star that if we can add additional information to help the users make these choices, I think that that's really important. Yes, so, yeah, the CFS calculator is a very popular tool. We're hoping to release the updated copy. Just It'll have updated formulas um, in the next month or so. The government wheels turn slowly. We know that. And so <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the beginning of the year, it'll be ready and we can link up to that. Um, now, I know one of the terms that, that we hear a lot is you call stakeholders. And I just want to say that's really what our manufacturers uh, in, in our industry is that, would that be the correct way to e equivalent that? Yes, so there's different partner opportunities through Energy Store that would be applicable to um, different areas of the commercial food service sector. Um, manufacturers, of course, probably one of the most important um, Energy Store partners that we rely on because they're the ones who are 
making the products that are Energy Star certified. Um, so we refer to them as product brand owner partners. And um, it's pretty easy to join Energy Star. Um, you simply would complete a partnership agreement form and participation form, um, basically just establishing your commitment to Energy Star. Um, but you can also visit our website for more details on the agreement. Um, and then once product brand owners complete the paperwork, they can begin certifying their products, which I went over a little bit earlier, but again, it is, um, you would need to work with an EPA recognized certification body and in an EPA recognized laboratory to conduct the testing to confirm your products meet our energy efficiency um, specifications. Well, I, I don't want to put you on the spot on this one, but just a general, is, is there uh, a, a rough guide for expenses for manufacturers so they know how much it's going to cost? Or is it very greatly dependent on the products that are being tested? Like a dish, dish machine may be a lot more involved than a refrigerator or a coffee machine that's, you know, electrical. Yes, um, I believe there are there is some information on the Energy Store website. I unfortunately do not know it off the top of my head, sure. but I, it's okay. certainly something um, I think we could we could work with the product brand owner to provide information based off of our experience, and there may be additional information on the website as well. So, to the manufacturers, is is the main benefit that they once approved can show the logo, can show that they're saving so that there are some states out there now that are requiring Energy Star products. Is that correct? There's a couple states out there? Yes, there are. Yep. So, so the product uh, specification is getting stricter throughout the country. And yeah, some are even requiring it. Um, and yeah, I mean, the logo, it's one of the most recognized logos um, out there. And like I kind of like I went into earlier, it's a brand that customers can trust and rely on to make informed decisions and know that it's operating at the top efficiency level, um, among other commercial yeah. food service so products. Consumer standpoint, I know we see that all the time in the major appliances, and it's something that you know you you do have faith in. From the commercial industry, I'm going to say it really varies. That there's some manufacturers that that get into that that they. The refrigeration manufacturers, they're all over that. I, I can say from our experience, those are the ones that are most active, but then you yeah. have other appliances. Dish machines is also pretty valuable to them and it, it does help them stand out. So I appreciate yeah. that. that's helpful information. And, and again, you know, we try to encourage our manufacturers to promote their Energy Star products. Um, we're been a, uh, it's, it's been a good partnership with uh, ICF Energy Star. I get confused as to all my apps. <laughs> labels there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I think if I can ask, let's see if I can do this or not. I'm going to share my screen here and just put that up so that, so I've got the KCL program. If you're running the KCL desktop program, that the very first thing you can do is you can always search by model number and manufacturer. But if I want to go ahead and look at my search filter, we do have one for Energy Star. And by turning that on, it only shows me here, we're up to about 1,100 models in our database that have Energy Star, but it will show me which manufacturers. So if I'm looking for a Crestcore product, it'll show me which models. If I know what I'm looking for and say I needed a Hojizaki item, and I think Hojizaki is one of your, um, the term would be, manufacturers of the year. I can't remember the phrase. Yeah, it's, we just used partner of the year. You're uh, correct though. Hoshizaki is a multiple time winner. Yeah, so they've got a lot in there. And in the bottom right, there's a link for Energy Star, or I can click on the actual star itself. And then KCL gives me a link back to Energy Star, which takes me out to the Energy Star website where there's additional information. Uh, this is the, the spec up there. So it's really easy to find the products and gain additional information. And as we mentioned earlier, we are working with them to try to have some additional value that any of the information that's on the Energy Star website, it's, it's great and easy to access. But if you're already in the KCL program, we wanna help you find that information a little bit quicker. 
So I just wanted to give that, that quick look at, you can look by manufacturer, model, even if you don't have the filter on, it's still gonna show up. That if I'm in KCL looking for Hojizaki products, as I scroll through the list, you can see the regular little light bulb for electrical. We'll just do a little more scrolling here. And when Energy Star is available, it shows up. So you don't have to do anything special to access that information or see it. We're hoping that that helps designers pick more efficient products as well, which will, again, save the end user that time and or the money and expense for their utilities. I'm going to stop the share here. So that's a quick look from KCL's end. Uh, Linnea, is there anything else you'd like to add about either end users? Because the, the KCL marketplace is actually all channel partners in food service that we have, you know, reps that look at the information, to help select items. There's consultants and dealers that are looking at the information, but we also work with service providers. I'm mean, just, I don't know if the Energy Star falls into much for the, the service aspect. Obviously our biggest one is the manufacturers and promotion. Uh, but if, if there's something specific on the website they should look for, or just we want to encourage more manufacturers to get their products listed properly. Yeah, of course. I mean, really, I would just recommend the landing page, the energystore.gov slash CFS. Uh, one resource that we've been working on developing that I think everyone, all groups will be very excited about is our midstream program resources, which is really just a guide on midstream utility programs, which basically offer an instant rebate. The dealer is able to offer an instant rebate um, and the dealer is responsible for completing the paperwork. Uh, these po these pro programs are gaining a lot of popularity in the commercial food service world. And we are basically providing a guide for different stakeholder categories to get involved in these programs. So whether it be dealers offering the midstream program and finding utilities that offer the programs or utilities, best practices for designing the program or operators looking to take advantage of these rebates. So we're really excited about that. And I think that a lot of different groups will benefit from it. And yeah, we're really excited. So stay tuned. <laughs> Good. Now, is that what we were talking about a little bit where when you say midstream, you're talking about the local utility companies? Yep, the local utility. So traditionally, most commercial food service incentives were, were called downstream programs where the, the rebate would still be offered by the utility. Um, the customer would purchase the equipment at the dealer, and then the customer would then be responsible for completing the paperwork and would receive the rebate after the utility processed everything. Um, but with midstream, it moves up the supply chain. Got it. So the operator isn't responsible for anything. The operator is receiving an instant discount. And then the dealer um, who's familiar with the paperwork would be responsible for submitting it to the utility and, and then receiving the rebate. Oh, and good. most utilities even offer an additional bonus or spiff to the dealers for, the, for their extra work. Okay, no, that, that is a great idea, something I was not aware of. And again, yeah. we know that uh, our, for, for everyone watching that, you know, KCL was talking to Energy Star recently about how we can also make it easy to find out what the rebates are. So not just the yeah. products, but we're going to try to help identify that, yes, you can go to the Energy Star website. That's the best resource. But if you're in KCL, we want to help you out with that. So yeah. Like, Thanks, thanks for that little tip that I did not realize. We knew that restaurant owners can do it, but then the onus is on them to file the paperwork and it takes time. Right. So yeah. I think there's a lot of hope with this, this design. So we're hoping, um, we're excited to see where it goes. Good. Well, well, we'll do what we can to help out. Again, I want to say thank you for joining us today and we appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Everyone have a great day. And I think we're done recording.